In this video, I will show you how to scale your drawing or project in AutoCAD. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to scale your drawing, essentially to place it on a sheet and assuming you want to print it to a PDF document or to an actual physical paper. So the process to do that, there are multiple ways to do it, but the one I will be covering is going to happen through the layout or the paper space, okay? So I am referencing a project that I created before. I do have a tutorial for this one where you can watch it step-by-step step, and I'll leave it on the top. But back to the scaling of the drawing, uh, the way I like to do it is from the layout actually. So if you have a layout, um, the layout basically is where like you can do printing the difference between layout and the model space is that the layout has a specific size while the model has infinite space you can zoom out as much as you want or zoom in again as much as you want but anyway back to the scaling of the drawing and back to the layout so from here you also have a viewport element this element allows you to see your project in the model space you can activate this and change how you see the model space. To activate it, I will double click and then I can now zoom on my project. And from here, we can actually set the scale of the drawing. To do that, I will go to the bottom right of the interface and then from here, I will click and then you will see the list of scales. Let's say, for example, I want to do the 180 scale, I'll click on that and AutoCAD will automatically adjust the zooming of this viewport to show me this drawing on a 180 scale. Of course, assuming we're going to print on this current paper. If you want to know what's the current paper size of this layout, you can actually click right click on the layout and go to edit page setup. Once you click that, you will see this window and you will realize that the paper size here is the letter size, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. Once you are here, you can actually change the paper size of the layout. So for example, I will go here and I will use, for example, arc full bleed D. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna click OK, and then that will modify it here. The next thing I will do, or you can do, is basically resize the viewport. And let's say you wanna place this on a bigger scale or a smaller scale, depending on how you look at it. So for example, I wanna switch the scale from 1 8th, I wanna see this uh, floor plan on a quarter inch scale. So now this is how I can see it, or this is how you essentially do it. You just need to have enough space of the viewport to cover the paper space. And of course, you need a big enough paper so you can see all of this. If you want to learn more about printing, I will leave you another link on the top so you can watch how I put this and basically insert a title block. If this video helped you today, please like and subscribe. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.